Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is November 6, 2022. It is 9.12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm doing okay. Um, the weather is pretty shitty outside. It's raining. I just did my walking and physical therapy exercises outside and got all wet. But I'm grateful that I have a place to live in. I'm not homeless, like a lot of mentally, mentally ill people are in Rochester and other places in the United States. I'm grateful for everything that I have. Um, as far as my psychiatric symptoms are concerned, my anxiety levels are pretty high today. Um, my paranoia and delusions are pretty strong. My auditory hallucinations are pretty intense. I do feel kind of uncomfortable because of all that, but I'm in control of my behavior. I'm not violent. I'm not suicidal. I'm just coping with some physical and mental agitation. Um, I didn't get much sleep last night for some reason. I usually sleep pretty good. Um, didn't sleep that well last night. I've been up about since, uh, I don't know, 3.30 this morning. And the time change um, confused me, too. I didn't realize that today was daylight saving time and that we had to set our clocks back um, an hour. So I was kind of disoriented by the change in time that I had forgotten was supposed to happen. I mean, the clocks on my computer and my phones changed automatically. When I got up in the middle of the night, I didn't look at the phones on my computer for the time, the first thing I looked at was the clock on my cooking stove, and it was an hour off, obviously, because of the time change. So I actually got up a lot earlier than I thought I did. Um, and I've been pr up pretty much since then. And I did some work on my computer already. I already did my physical therapy exercises. I already did my morning meditation. I'll do another meditation in a little while. And in this evening, um, those meditations help calm me down. Um, when I say meditation, I mean YouTube videos about self-hypnosis for sleep and anxiety and depression. Of course, none of those things or types of meditation or hypnosis replaces my psychiatric care or my doctors or my therapist. Um, Today is Sunday the 6th. I am seeing my psychotherapist tomorrow at 2 p.m. And on the 10th, I'm seeing my peer support specialist. I missed my last appointment with her, so we rescheduled till the 10th of November, which is also this week. Um, I think talking to my therapist in person and my, uh, my peer support specialist in person always stabilizes me mentally and stabilizes my psychiatric symptoms somewhat and makes it easier to cope. That's why I would see my peer support specialist every two weeks and my therapist every two weeks, which is more often than I usually do. Winter is coming up and for a lot of people, uh, winter is a tough time. Even more so if you have a psychiatric problem, um, depression, anxiety, um, hallucinations, delusions, paranoia. They can all get worse during the wintertime for a lot of reasons. Days are shorter, darker. Um, nights are longer. Um, cold weather, in my case, makes my physical pain worse. My arthritis in my lower back, my upper back and my other joints, and the knee that I had surgery on on May 13th of this year, that pain, pain tends to get worse as uh, the weather gets colder. And today is certainly colder than it has been in a while. It's not snowing outside, but it is raining. Um, and I walked outside in the rain today to do my physical therapy and walking exercises for my knee. Um, I'm just trying to stay busy, stick to my daily schedule, um, 
and cope with things as best as I can. My psychiatrist did increase my carnopin, and I don't think I'm seeing my psychiatrist again until something like December 8th or December 2nd, something like that. I would have to check my schedule and see. But it's not for a while. It's not for another four or five weeks. Um, but uh, in the meantime, I'm coping the best I can and just trying to stick to my daily schedule. Like, comment, share, subscribe.